What's up, guys? So Twitter is at it again with its anime girl existing. Therefore, it's too sexy. Yeah! Now, don't get me wrong, there are some anime that are pushing it a bit too far this season, but for some reason they're getting overlooked. Get out of here. Studio Trigger put out a promotional pinup of the female character Marcel from Delicious in Dungeon. And by looking at it, I can only come to the conclusion that those outraged by this are the most pure people on the internet. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> or they have never seen an attractive woman in their life. So a pinup is typically a half naked woman, you know, that is depicted as sexy, attractive, or alluring. Now, Marcel, she is drawn kind of sexy in this image, but at the same time, she's fully clothed and really doesn't meet the definition of what would be considered a traditional pinup girl. What are these Puritans mad about? Well, lucky for us, we have Niche Gamer here who has put together some of the highlighted outrage tweets killing a man who looks at her thanks for letting us know that you're a homicidal lunatic who would unalive someone just for looking at a fake anime elf girl leave her alone girl i'm not ready for the dude bros to start perceiving her now i don't know about y'all but i don't think dude bros watch anime and i think at best we might have betas in the anime community. God, take all of Trigger's over-sexualization of female characters and give it to Senshi. I don't know who Senshi is, but sure. Now, luckily, we do get a few of the more level-headed people kind of fighting back against this insanity. Reminder that anyone who calls this over-sexualization are the actual addicts in denial. So all people say this is fan service from Trigger and complaining about it, but like, she's just lying down, are you crazy? What's wrong with this? Not a damn thing. I feel a bit bad for the people screaming about how this is sexualization. They've trained themselves to see fan service and everything so they can get mad. This isn't a healthy way to live. They're becoming more addicted than the people they toss the insults at. 100. This to me is just overreach and an controversy that has the anime tourists and Puritans yelling online. But what they have failed to realize is that the pendulum is starting to swing the other way and more people are starting to see them for what they are and the nonsense that they are spewing. And the funny thing about that is, is that the same people that blindly yell about this stuff have failed to realize that you can only cry wolf so many times before people stop listening to you. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you've enjoyed the content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see y'all next time.